Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Chelsea Aaron. Well, hey, always remember it's okay not to be okay sometimes. Hope you're doing okay this Friday evening. Weather not looking too bad out there. Looking a lot better than it did earlier this evening and this afternoon. All dry out there. Here's a live look at the parkway. Temperatures sitting at 75 degrees. Temperatures all across the board. Very warm and muggy. Even seeing some upper 70s near 80 degrees there in portions of northeast Alabama. This includes Scottsboro, also Fort Payne. And I will say when I was walking my dog Hazel out for my dinner break, the glass Glass windows of my apartment were completely fogged up. We like to say fogged up, but essentially it's just condensation. Be sure when you're driving your vehicle, you're trying to keep the temperature inside your car to match the outside temperature. That's going to help reduce the condensation. I know it's not enjoyable, but note that could be a visibility issue, especially during these very warm and muggy summertime days. All dry across our first alert Doppler radar, but that will be changing quite soon as we are tracking. Uh, MCS feature or essentially just a cluster of storms that's moving through portions of Arkansas. It is going to be weakening by the time it gets here once it tracks south southeast. However, this will bring back some showers and storms likely as early as seven o'clock, maybe even six o'clock tomorrow morning. So let's break that down. Temperatures overnight likely staying very warm and muggy in the low and mid 70s by six, seven o'clock. We will be tracking the remnants of this feature. A few isolated two scattered showers and storms for northwest Alabama, and this will track west to east throughout your mid to late morning hours. Main threats with this is likely going to be frequent lightning and also very heavy downpours for areas that see repeated heavy rainfall. This will cause some street ponding and also some localized areas of flash flooding, just like we saw today. This likely will get out of here by the afternoon, but we once again will be tracking multiple rounds of showers and storms by your afternoon again and likely into your evening hours. I'm not going to say it's going to be a washout. I wouldn't cancel those outdoor plans by any means, but just make sure you're keeping a close eye to the sky and stay weather alert, especially if you do have those outdoor plans. Just like today, tomorrow we're bringing back the heat and also the humidity. Afternoon highs back into the upper 80s, low 90s. Now it feels like temperatures much hotter when you factor in humidity. It's likely going to be feeling more like the upper 90s, even the triple digits. I will say the latter half of your weekend trending much drier on Sunday. That drier trend continues as we head into the week ahead. But once those rain chances go down, hey, those temperatures, they're going to go up, up and away. By midweek next week, we're looking at another massive heat wave for the Tennessee Valley. Temperatures by Wednesday could be in the mid and upper 90s. And when air temperatures are that hot, you know, the feels like temperature is going to be even hotter. We could see feels like temperatures as high as 115 to even 120 degrees. So go ahead and start hydrating now. Margo, I know you have that big water jump jug you keep with you. <laughs> Tell everybody to do the same thing. Um, did you see my face when you just said 115 and 120? What? I know. I know. Mm -mm. Hey, we've been watching this for the past couple of days. Confidence is increasing. We're going to see massive heat uh, across much of the deep south. In the That's US. not right. That's not right at all. But Carl